Hey there, Chad Barnes here for High University Library. Several of my business students are researching the possibility of bringing a Target store to Athens, Ohio. In order to really do research about that and understand if they should bring a store to Athens or not, they'll need to understand the, the shopping and buying behaviors of the Athens market. Um, this video is going to show you how to use Simply Map to understand uh, how people shop and where they shop in Athens or in any, any other location for that matter. So here you go. When you first get to Simply Map, you'll have the opportunity to create an account. I definitely recommend you do so because what you'll find is if you log back in later on the Simply, on the Simply Map, uh, you'll see that it will save all of your settings and things you've worked on. So I'm going to log in as me here and uh, kind of get you started. When you first log in, if you've never logged in before, you'll see that you have options to start here. It, it automatically loads you in the Map tab or the Standard Report tab. I'm actually going to start with a Standard Report. And so you can actually do launch a report wizard or you can either start here using variables and locations. And basically we're just like the, the chart here says, we're going to be mapping and, and looking at rankings and, and, and statistics for locations versus variables. So we need both of those. So let's start with locations. Let's go and say we're looking at, uh, we're going to do state or a city, excuse me. And let's look for Ohio and let's compare, um, Athens, we'll use that location, and let's add um, Cincinnati, use that location, and let's do Lancaster, and use that location. The reason I'm doing that is because there's not a, currently a target in Athens, so our numbers will be very low if they exist at all, whereas these other places do have um, targets in the location there. So we'll do that, and we'll close that, and then we can click on variables. Now, you don't necessarily know what you're looking for. You do happen to know you're doing an analysis of whether target's a good idea or not. So what we would do is go over here and search for target and do a search here. And here we see it says there's percent who has shopped at target in the last four weeks seven times or more. That's a whole lot of shopping at target. Uh, you can actually use this variable if you want like this. You can just go uh, use this variable and that will add it to our list here. And so once this loads, we're comparing Athens to Cincinnati to the USA as a whole to Lancaster to Columbus. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back and do our search again, and let's do Target because we can actually find other related uh, resources and and statistics in this same folder here. So I don't want just Target stuff. What about Walmart and other department stores? So you see it, it gives us the path to the folder, Simmons Local Shopping Department Store, et cetera, et cetera. So what we can do is go back to Variables and look for Simmons Local. And if we scroll down, here is Shopping. And you can see there's all these different things you can look at for shopping decisions and things like that. Um, all this kind of stuff. So here's our, de our department store shopping. And again, you can use all these other things as well. Um, and if we scroll down here is, um, let's do like Dollar General Store and Family Dollar. And then let's do um, JCPenney, might be worth looking at. And I'm actually click on use all variables. You don't have to do that. You can actually go over here. And if we go down and look at, for example, target, if you click on it, it will give us percentage and number. Because we're doing um, a comparison of Athens to like a larger town, it might be a better idea to do um, percentage as opposed to actual numbers. So as we do that, we can, we can it'll add it to our, our list there. And if we scroll down here is Walmart. And again, we'll just do percent who use it, who has shopped there a lot, uh, percent seven or more times, use this variable. And again, just a kind of quick example here. And once we do that, we will have um, a decent list here of the statistics that we asked for. And if you want to, you can go over here and um, download this report as an Excel file or a CSV file, that sort of thing, or email a report to yourself as well. So a good thing to look at there. So that would be how you basically compare statistics in the area. You can also go back under variables if you want to collect census data as well. And using the same patterns, there's all kinds of census information in here. If you want to say, well, I understand that different reports say that people in this age category, or this household income like to shop at Target. Let's see how many of those people live in Athens. You can actually go in and look by you know, age and things like that, or population or age group. And so if you wanted to, again, use this variable 
it'll go in and, and put the variable um, in your list there as well. So there's our, there's our variable. Uh, as you go through here, you'll see uh, under your variables, you can click on recent and that will give you uh, all the recent variables you've looked at uh, recently. So a good way to kind of save you time. So that's a great way to, um, to go in and find data, comparing um, shopping behavior and things like that in, in Athens. And again, uh, under the, the variables here, Simmons Local, there's all kinds of stuff in here on, on shopping. And again, this is just one example, but you can see there's all kinds of stuff on how people purchase, shopping decisions, whether they shop at strip malls, things like that. So, so that's how you do that. You can also use the map feature in Simply Map to map variables. Uh, what you want to do, if you lose the tab here, just click Create New Map. And then we can go in and say, let's look for variables here. And again, we can go under, we can either go under Recent, or again, we can go under our Simmons Local or our Search either one and find our information that we're looking for there. So if we go under shopping and we can go under uh, department stores and then we find target down here in our list and let's use percent who shopped uh, three to six times in the last um, um, four weeks and if we go and we want to click on locations here and let's do states and I'm just going to do Ohio and use this location so it's going to drill down into Ohio and look at things by county there okay so we can see you know what percent shopped at Target three to six times in the last uh, little bit now that may be a little bit off because that's a, that's in, in four weeks because that's you know we're seeing we're getting lots of pink there so we might want to use another variable there but what we can also do is go and click on businesses and we can click on find businesses and let's just going to try legal name for target and we're going to name this search uh, target stores and click show results and so you can see it goes in and finds stores uh, about target <clears throat> in there you can see it'll it'll find the targets for us and in, in some cases it finds on target firearms corporation so we might want to limit that down to uh, just target corporation as the as the legal name so we can we can do that and find just target corporation and you can see it does find uh, the target in Lancaster and obviously uh, between 9 and 27 percent of the people in uh, Lancaster Ohio or, or, or Franklin County there um, actually use uh, go to target regularly so a great place to, to look for for uh, for that information um, uh, and in proximity to the stores and if you like you can go up here and export this map and save it for your PowerPoint or your presentation and that sort of thing so a great way to do that kind of stuff so hopefully this video helps you um, if you need more help look for the contact link on the business blog uh, to get in touch with me if you need more help uh, using Simply Map or other business databases. So good luck with your research and have a great day.